Hello and welcome back to Piece of the Puzzle. It's day 18, just a week until Christmas now. Have you uh, finished your Christmas shopping? Have you even been out of the house since uh, since lockdown? Let's see what uh, we've got in store for us behind door 18. Here we go. We have another classic. It is Snake. Uh, this version was written by Philip Deacon. Uh, so yeah, this is the version of Snake we had on our Amstrad PC growing up. And boy, does this bring back memories. This is possibly one of the first games I ever played. Um, and uh, I used to play this game quite a lot as a child. It was uh, one of the few that I could actually play relatively competently. Um, so let's give it a go now and see if I'm... Uh, still any good at it and uh, then we've got to Mary has a little lamb as our theme tune um, now the controls are dot and slash um, to rotate left and right um, and the aim of the game as with any snake game is to collect all of the apples in the uh, in the level and every time you pick up a yellow apple it uh, places a new red apple somewhere in the um, play area and every time you pick up a red apple it places a toadstool in the play area. The uh, toadstools act as obstacles um, uh, and if you touch those you die. Um, there was a... Uh, you can press space which I believe will shoot out your tongue and relocate a toadstool um, and I think there was a cost to that. Did it uh, take my points down? I didn't notice. But um, that is level one complete and it uh, plays for he's a jolly good fellow to, uh, <laughs> to make you feel better about yourself. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but uh, yeah, this um, uh, game has got a huge smile on my face. Uh, it brings back memory, good memories. And I love the, um, the old PC speaker sounds that plays music to you. Um, yeah, that brings back uh, nostalgic memories for me. Um, but uh, yeah, let's see how we get on. As you can see in level two, there are um, extra walls protruding into the play area. Um, and as you progress through the levels, the um, uh, the maps get trickier and trickier to navigate. Um, as with any snake game, if you crash into a wall or into your uh, your own tail, uh, you die and lose a life. Die and lose a life. There you go. Um, and I've just rotated the wrong way, which is going to make this tricky. I've got 13 seconds left. I think I should be able to get that without any trouble. There we go. And yeah, any time you have left over gives you bonus points. And I just remember that sort of... Uh, it's uh, as it's counting down all your uh, spare seconds, uh, you get uh, extra few. <laughs> oh, <laughs> extra few notes to the theme tune. I uh, I just doubled back on myself. I I tried to turn around too quickly, and uh, crashed into my own tail. But yeah, you see now this level the. Um, Oh, wall. These diagonal walls make it uh, trickier to navigate um, uh, because we can't go diagonally, and so um, we need to sort of zigzag up, and zigzag up and down these. Um, but uh, we've been lucky-ish so far with the placement of apples. Oh, that was close. Um, you kind of want to pick up all the yellow ones first. Oh no, that's no good. Oh, that, um, that got myself into a hole. Um, the uh, the rotate left and right controls. Oh no! <laughs> I uh, double tapped. Yeah, the rotate left and right controls make it um, quite tricky to play. 
<laughs> and there we can see on the high score chart, SFGL, that is my original score when I played this on the Amstrad. Um, so very happy to be able to play this game again. Did, uh, did you ever play this version of Snake? If you did, let me know in the comments below, but uh, I'm sure you must have played a version of Snake, so tell me your memories of that. And uh, But yeah, that is the end of this episode. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, and I will be back here every day for the next few days until Christmas. Uh, uh, but for now, I'll say goodbye, and I'll see you all again soon for the next piece of the puzzle. Bye, bye.